He's accused of killing a three year old. It's day two in the capital murder trial of Eric Trevino. He's on trial for the 2017 shooting of little Renee Blancas Jr. Testimony from a relative today revealing that he thought he might have been the initial target of that shooting. Eric Hernandez takes us inside the courtroom. What is your relationship to uh, Renee Blancas Sr.? He's my cousin. Jack Daniel Hernandez was heading to his family's barbecue when he noticed his cousin's vehicle at the intersection of Briggs and New Laredo Avenue. I happened to see my cousin, so I stopped him and told him, what are you doing? Why aren't you at the barbecue? How long do you think you were sitting there talking to Renee? About, I don't know, like four or five minutes. He then noticed a car behind him, and as he took off, he says the car had turned off their headlights. Hernandez proceeded to his grandma's house a few minutes down the street, and that is when he found out someone had been shot. Well, I pulled in, and that's when I heard my aunt yelling and crying and screaming, saying that Renee was shot. At the time, Hernandez believed he may have been the target of the shooting. He and his wife were going through a divorce and had been arguing that night. He told the jury she had sent some threatening texts. During cross-examination, Jack Daniel Hernandez explained he himself had previously been a target of a shooting. Shot at your house, didn't I don't know if it was a boyfriend, but yeah, they shot at my house. Okay, they also shot at your car, didn't they? Yes, sir. Despite all that, the night three year old Rene Blancas Jr. was shot, he said he wasn't able to get a look at the vehicle that had pulled up behind him and couldn't identify Eric Trevino as the suspect. The vehicle that pulled up behind you, did you see what that car was? No, sir, the, the lights were on. The trial will be on recess for tomorrow and will actually continue on Monday morning. And we'll be following it here in the 437th District Court. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.